Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is The Great Sim Heist. This story is in another Snowden leak, which comes from The Intercept. In the story, we learn based on documents and presentations that the US's NSA and the UK's GCHQ actually ran a black ops network attack against a Dutch SIM card manufacturer called Gemalto. A SIM card, by the way, is a subscriber identity module. It's that tiny little card you put into your mobile phone or your wireless device. And Gemalto makes about two billion of these cards a year, which they sell to AT&T, T-Mobile, and many other uh, cell phone providers providers out there. And these cards actually have digital circuitry and very specific private public keys. These are the cards uh, your telco uses to identify you and to encrypt your communications and stuff. Obviously, law enforcement wants to intercept phone calls and getting warrants and getting uh, vendors to cooperate and hand over keys is hard. So apparently, according to these documents, the NSA and GCHQ decided to stock employees at the Gemalto SIM card company and use all the information they gathered to eventually do a cyber attack and get bulk access to the keys, the digital keys used for many, many SIM cards. And this ultimately means that on a whim, they can basically intercept data from any phone. In fact, if they've intercepted communications from phones before, but they were encrypted, if they have these keys, they now can decrypt those uh, communications after the fact. So this is exactly what governments should not be doing. This is massive state surveillance. Let's for a second just assume that the NSA and GCHQ has our best interest in mind, and they're just going to use this sort of power to go after bad guys. Just the fact that they still have the power to intercept anyone's communications on a whim, without a warrant, without any clear checks and balances, and without letting know this private Dutch company that they stole a whole bunch of private data, just blows my mind. I recently wrote an article you can find on Dark Reading talking about how governments are making us less secure. And I think this is a perfect example of just why that's happening. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing I can recommend you do for this. You know, if a government does have the key to your SIM card, at best, you can use third-party uh, programs to encrypt your communications, maybe use encrypted Skype connections. But it's definitely a story you need to know about, so I shared it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.